Hi everyone. In this video, I'll provide a quick tour of the physical network equipment available to you within the IT networking lab at the Waterloo campus. Room 3G07 contains the equipment that services labs 3G05 and 3G09. There are 20 racks of equipment overall. Kits determine what equipment you work on. To find your equipment, start by looking at the bank of power and network connectors at your work area. Each work area will have a label identifying the corresponding kit number. To help determine the rack that houses the equipment, look at the first three numbers of the data jack labels. Note that each of the black data jacks at each work area have those first three digits in common. In the equipment room, each rack is labeled on top and bottom. The rack number you are looking for corresponds to those first three digits identifying the data jacks at your work area. Within the rack, notice the labels identifying each kit. There are six kits per rack. The kit labels indicate the equipment that is part of your kit. Each kit consists of one 2960 layer 2 switch, one 3750 layer 3 switch, and two 2811 routers. In addition, each kit includes an ASA 5505 security appliance. Each kit also includes a bundle of cables. Three cables connect back to the data jacks at your work area. The first two cables, which are blue, are wired straight, and the third, which is red, is crossover. As we saw earlier, the data jacks each have a label. The first three digits identify the rack as was already mentioned. The second two digits represent the position in the rack of the patch panel. In this lab, patch panels are all located at position 45, or the topmost position in the rack. The last two digits represent the jack in the patch panel that corresponds to the jack in the work area. Using kit 38 as an example, we can see that the work area jacks are labeled as rack 107, and the patch panel positions are 4 through 6. On rack 107, you can find the patch panel at rack position 45, and positions 4 through 6 link back to the work area of kit 38. You can look at the label on your kit cables to determine which cable to use to connect to your work area. For example, if you connect your laptop to the jack labeled 107-45 colon 4, and then connect the kit cable labeled 107-45 colon 4 to a port on the switch, your laptop is now connected to the switch. Note that the patch panel and switch at rack position 43 are already patched. There is no reason for you to ever change anything on either the patch panel or that switch, so don't. While we're on the topic of things you do not need to change, you will also notice that the console ports on each of those devices is already patched. You will never need to touch those either. The other five blue cables in the kit bundle connect to a virtual machine or VM each. These VMs are what you will use to inject traffic into the network equipment for troubleshooting and testing purposes. The use of the VMs is covered in another video. I would also like you to notice how neat and tidy the patch cables are. Keep them that way. Someone is going to be using the equipment after you. As a courtesy to your fellow students, Take a minute at the end of your session to disconnect anything you patched for your class and slide the Velcro back over the cable to keep things neat for the next group of students coming into the lab. If you choose not to follow that simple courtesy, there will be consequences. On an awesome note, welcome to the lab. Spend as much time as you like, learn as much as you can. The equipment is there for you to gain a ton of skills and knowledge, and we love to see our students taking advantage of the opportunity.